everybody, welcome to the channel. I am your stream guide, Morphine, and uh, welcome. Welcome to the channel. So tonight, we are going to go into Streamlabs, and we're going to show you how to do transitions. We're gonna walk through that process. All right, so we're going to be doing transitions. So transitions are done with this box down here. So this is all your scenes, and you can see all the scenes that I have in here. A lot of different scenes. Um, and when you want to create a transition, now a transition is when you're going, going from one scene to the next and you click this gear. So this is the, this is the transition, um, dialog box. This first tab here, there are two tabs. There's a transition tab and a connection tab on the transitions tab. What you see are a list of the different types of transitions that there are. Your global transition is what is going to be play is the transition that's going to be the default. My normal default is a stinger transition, um, which is a video icon. Hey, what's up, Mad Bars? How you doing? Which is a video, like a two or three second video clip that I would play between scenes. Um, but whatever my default is, is click. So for today, I changed my default to motion because you'll see in a second, I have made a lot of my transitions, um, the motion because I want that effect. But you have a plenty of other choices and you can actually create your own transition to an extent. So you have a slide transition, um, which so the screen, you know, literally just slides this way. If you've ever made uh, anything like a PowerPoint or any kind of slide creation program, you're going to be familiar with some of these. A cut is just, it just changes over to the next one. There's no, nothing visual happening on the screen. It just, you're in the next one like that. Fade, that's what you think. One fades out, next one fades in. Uh, and then you have swipe in from left, right, out, left and right. You know, it works exactly like you think it might. Um, fading to color means that it's going to fade to a specific color and then back again. And then I have a stinger that I made down here. Um, uh, Luma wipe, I gotta skip that. Luma wipe is, is similar to a fade to color where it, you know, it's a, it a sort of, um, it's based color based and it sort of goes in some sort of pattern and it, it fades the screen out, it changes the screen out that way. And I, this is a custom one that I made. Um, uh, stinger file that I use, I have for some reason I've called it stinger 304 and I just made a stinger, uh, a transition called that. So that is what the transitions are. And like I said, you can add a transition if you want to, you just give it a title, um, Give it a description and set a duration. Duration is in milliseconds, so that means it's about a third of a second to happen. The transition that I'm using a lot in the last couple days is the motion. If I click on the pencil, I can find how long I want the transi transition to be, and on the X and the Y axis, if I want it to slow or speed up. So right now I have it at 1500, which means it takes about a second and a half to transition, and um, well, that was essentially at zero, but um, I have it slowing down a little bit more on the x-axis. Now my transitions are are only going on the x-axis, and if I have it a little slower, I, I didn't I change this uh, up a little bit because it was down before, but my PC was giving me a, a headache, so I, I changed it. But what the idea was that as it starts to swap, like see if the browser up here and then the face cam here, I'm gonna swap it. What I want is not just like this. And I don't want it to be that fast. I want to start fast and sort of slow down because that should ease it in. And hopefully it looks like nice and buttery smooth and, and everything. Um, the problem I have is that in playing around with it, it has a tendency to go to low to the point where like it's this really awkward like hiccup when it's finally makes a switch and i just i just didn't like the way that it looked so i'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more to see if i can get it to not have that really jarring like switch but if it could be a little bit more smooth um and if i can't then i will speed it up to sort of mask that visually so you won't notice it. it'll still happen but it'll be so fast you won't really notice it all right, so that is a transition paid tab, and that's how you use it. So what you do with them is, if you just wanna use your global, you don't have to do anything else I'm about to tell you. 
you just click your default as your global and that will happen between every single scene. If you want to get a little bit more advanced and have more custom transitions, what you want to do is you want to go into the connections tab and you want to define between two specific scenes what transition you're going to use. So check out, look at the ones that I've done in the last couple of days. So all of these streams, you know, I have them titled stream show dash whatever. So base is just like my face cam view with the box in the bottom. And I'm going to create now I want to go to the browser. I want to go from my just this regular face cam to the browser browser being in the upper right hand corner, maybe it's your left hand corner. Um, I want there to be some kind I want it to be smooth. So I want to do a, a motion. So I select my starting scene, select my ending scene, select the transition, and then I hit done. And that's literally it. That's all you have to do to make the transition work. Um, now, if you are a little anal and retentive like I am, a little bit of a perfectionist with, uh, inconsistently, um, and I have all of these new overlays for this new layout, I want to make sure that I define every single combination of transition and have it set to what looks best for that type. So you can see in here, I have created a whole bunch of, I can get rid of this one because I deleted that scene. This one too. I have a whole bunch of uh, connections that I made because I have probably, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different, nine different um, overlays that I made. And I need to, I, I, I defined the transition between every single combination. No matter what is, happens, I know exactly what the transition is going to be. And it's not always motion. Some of them made more sense to be cuts, but that's pretty much what I'm going with here is cuts and motion, um, which is a change for me because I used to always only use the, my stinger transition. Um, I still like my stinger transition, but I don't like it so much for what I'm doing here. Now, if I have a different kind of stream, then maybe I'll go back to using it. Or if I create another browser, another uh, scene type that it makes sense, I will put my old uh, stinger transition back in play. But for now, that's what I'm gonna use. And um, once you've created these, you can edit it, just like pencil icon and make change. Or if you don't want it, like I did a second ago, just go ahead and hit delete. But that is literally it. That's all you have to do to make a transition. And it is going to be easy for you.